Hello there, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mr. Saim Shutaik. Today I'll be solving um, recent 2023, November P22, paper two. Uh, one of the question, which is question number five, which is related to trace table. So uh, we, we know that uh, if you read the question, I've, I've already solved this with one of my students, so I'll explain it to you. Uh, global 1D array of integers contains four elements. So we have the following index number and the following values have been, have been assigned at the following index number. A procedure uh, process manipulates the following um, pseudocode and over here they're saying is complete the trace table uh, by on the opposite pages and when the call procedure 3 is called. So in the very first line you can see over here is when the procedure 3 is called uh, the parameter basically is start. So over here you can see is start is assigned to the index so index technically uh, becomes is 3. So index is 3. Count is 0 and then you have to place the following values, 1, 3, 4, 2, uh, below the over here to have the initial values. We've done that. So initially we've done this. So next what happens is over here what's happening is your mix index. So mix index basically is 4. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So um, the value, obviously, mix index is so uh, mix index 3 has a value 4. Okay, so that has a value four. So four is placed here. Uh, why do we have, we have three here? Because over here we are saying is mix index three, okay? Because currently we have three. And at three, we have four minus one. Mix index, so four minus one is three. So in three, we place the value three, right? Fine. Next, then what happens is your value is assigned to the index so whatever the value is again is assigned to the index in the next line and you count increments by one fine okay and now what happens is uh, it checks uh, until the count is equals to five which is not the case goes back so now currently you have is index four okay so yeah, index four okay mix in four actually has a value of two so i write the value of two over here so again the same story page repeats again two minus one is basically one so at the location of four so since we are at four at four we get to place the value one okay so going well um next what happens is we again do is value the sign of the value to the index and we increment the counter to counter one plus one which is equals to two let me rub all this off so that you can clearly see what am i typing okay here we go done Till here, it's all clear. Now what happens is, over here, we again do this through the same thing. So at index over here, three. So um, we have three, the value three over here. So again, same thing happens. Uh, we have over here. So two, two is clear. Uh, then what happens? We come over here. Okay, I'm just a bit, bit distracted. So I am over here. Um, index of 2 over here has a value of 3. So 3 minus, so in, in, uh, that is, so in the index 2, I'll have 3 minus 2, which is 2. Done. And then again, what happens is, your value is assigned to the index, which is three, right? So three, three is assigned, the counter increments by one. So later on, what happens is the value three is assigned, same way, okay. Now, this is where you might have a bit of confusion. So, okay, fine. Over here, we have three. Then why do we have two over here? So if it's three at three, okay, index 3, we have what? So, okay, value, value is 3, right? At index 3, we have, so actually over here you can see is, uh, at index 3, we have 4, but we will not write 4 over here. I'll tell you why. Because at index 3, we over here have the value 3. 
So initially it was four, but the updated value is actually three. So if this value is three, in this particular case, what will happen is it will be three minus one, which is two. So in three, the updated value will be two. So which means whenever the value is updated over here, we don't use these values. We use the values which are updated, like in case of three, it's two, in case of four, it's one, in case of two, it's two, the recent values. Get my point. And again, the same thing happens again. So um, three again is assigned to the index and in case of index three, we have the value of four. Okay, oh, sorry, the, uh, we've increment uh, the counter by one. And then what we do is at index, uh, where are we? At index three, we have the value two. So two comes over here, two minus one is one. At in the, in the next value two, uh, we again, when we reach here, we'll increment the counter by one. So now we have actually reached five. So when we have reached five, a situation will arrive where in, in four, in four, we will do is count, which is five, uh, multiply the value of index, which is two, which will be equal to 10. So 10 actually comes over here. So the only confusion that most of the students I found was that we have to use the updated values within these over here, not from here initially, yes, but once they're updated, we use the updated values. Just remember that. I hope you got the question. If you have any other queries, any other paper of tracer you want me to, to you know, make a video, let me know.